And once again, I forgot my lesson of don't take all of your Pikmin into the cave, but yeah, we're we're towards the end of the game. I'm, there isn't a whole lot to be gained. Not one of you, I hate these guys. Ah, <laughs> they're so weird. Nice. I, I think everybody's, yeah, everybody's all flowered up here. Uh, can I go underneath that? Not, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's do this right. Disband. I can, just not with, uh, just not with flying Pikmin. And you can see my disdain for that enemy so much that I'm, I'm choosing, Oh, Man! These enemies are so annoying. I'm gonna have to learn how to fight them eventually, but I don't want to learn today. I guess I have to. I'm just curious. Let's just kind of examine this for a second. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, cheap. That's not good. Oh, wait, so, oh, he, he ate a white. He ate a white, sweet. Okay, I ne I've never been excited for that in my life. That could have been so bad if if I hadn't had whites. Oh, I thought I could run under that one. I was like, yeah, the, the pink Pikmin will get stuck, but at the very least, I can I can cope with that. Fly Pikmin seem good here, actually. But maybe, yeah, they're pretty good against this enemy. I guess I should probably leave with those. Whistle, 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 get out of the way, get out of the way. Uh, he's eating up purple, I think. Okay, yeah. Whites are the way. Whites are the way. Or, uh, flying. Flying pigment are the way. Whistle. Get out of the way. Swarm. Oh, yeah. That's that's how we do it. And then just swarm them all. And they all bounce off. And take longer than I thought they would. Okay. Okay. So we have a method. We have a method. Uh, Oshi, please deal with that. You can deal with that. Um... Yeah, that's a time saver. We'll do it. Ochi, why are you hopping? Why are you hopping there? Uh, why not? Just because I want to see you swallow that, and I want, I want to get it out of my sight. Okay, whites, get on this. And that. And then we brought rocks for a reason. We don't have a pink onion yet, so I think I think rocks are our more expendable pigment type right now. We're very, I mean, I'm very certain that the, the pink onion's going to be here. I'm not really making any any pretense about that, but <sighs> why? Why? Pikmin are so so bad in this game about about picking up items. They just they give up all too easily. Honestly, more easily than than Pikmin One, which is sad. Pikmin One is terrible about that. Please don't be stupid. Please don't. Nice. A lot of hazards for flying Pikmin here, which is great. I actually, I, I think flying Pikmin. This is uh, they're better, a better appearance for them than in um, than in Pikmin Three. Pikmin Three, they felt kind of busted, but in this, they're they're tolerable. Uh, Ochi, please do this with your powers. We have Rock Pikmin. Just get these out of the way, and then I can fight these things. Very well. Yeah, in, in Pikmin 3, they just... They kind of felt cheap. I, I always felt like I was cheating with them. Does this work? Okay, please... Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Uh, that's something... That's another thing I noticed in the Dandori tri Trials, is how the... How do I describe it? How the priority works for, for enemies. Uh, enemies and treasures. Uh, when a Pikmin completes a task in this game, they immediately then prioritize... Are you saying... Oh, I guess I do need to fight him. I was gonna say... If I don't have to fight him, I won't. If an enemy completes a task, and there is a treasure right next to them, and there is also an enemy right next to them, they will prioritize the enemy. Also, the swarm mechanic sucks, and I hate it. I hate it so much. I am targeting this, so please actually target him. There we go. These things have so much health. You know what? We have the ability. Let's do it. Yeah, let's let's one cycle this guy. 
Perfect. Uh, let's split this up, actually. Yeah, the swarm mechanic, um... I don't like to, I don't like to feel like I'm I'm critiquing the game constantly because that's that's really not my intent. My my intent is to enjoy this game, um, but also, but also I coming towards the end of the series, I I feel like I have legitimate concerns or legitimate criticisms of the game that I, I kind of want to get out, and one of those is the swarm whistle. It there are a lot of times in this game where uh, it actually feels like the swarm whistle is a massive improvement on things like. Pikmin will do what they want you to do. There are a bunch of random treasure pieces or plastic around. You swarm them on it, and they cap out on one, and they grab the other ones. They kind of understand that, which is really cool. But I realize I'm talking through a, a loading screen right here, so I apologize for that. But I have thoughts! I have thoughts. I have thoughts, and not enough time to get them out. Uh, it's really great that they do that. They they somewhat understand that, hey, this, this treasure takes... Uh, five Pikmin. This one takes eight, so let's split that up accordingly. Are they? Weird. Okay, I thought they were just going after the mushrooms, but they're not. Uh, there are some threats here that I need to take care of first and foremost. These things are annoying, so I'm gonna kill them. And that- ooh. Okay, we're good. I need to take care of this first and foremost. There's no path, so these things are so- are incredibly random. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Swarm! Nice! Dead. But there are other times where it's very frustrating. And it- the Pikmin will literally never, ever do what I want them to do. And then there's the cursor, where, because it, it has some lock-on features, it's very nice at times. It's legitimately awesome, a lot of the time. But then there are other times where it just doesn't work how I want it to, and it's impossible to actually aim or put a lead on an, a moving target. Like with the, um, like with the iridescent gl glint beetle. It was literally impossible for me to properly aim at that thing. Um, because it's always aiming where it is instead of previous Pikmin titles where I would want to aim where it's going to be. And I would much rather there be kind of like a, um, a bigger circle around my cursor. And if I press the lock on, then it will automatically, it'll lock on. Sort of like it's doing now, but manually, you know? And it, it doesn't. And that's something that I'm like, uh, I, I'm acknowledging that a lot of improvements have been made. And I think to the general audience that, um, didn't, doesn't like the, um, unfairness, okay, the unfairness of previous Pikmin games and how difficult they were to control, that this is a welcome change for them. But then there are other things where I'm like, this would actually favor the player more. It just needs a little bit more polish. And one thing I noticed as this game came out, since I played it on launch, uh, is that there aren't actually there weren't actually a whole lot of patches for it And I think that I think that it just wasn't a huge priority They're like hey, this is this game. It doesn't have the why did I do that? This game doesn't have the like biggest draw It's it's like Nintendo's second party title or like double-a title, you know, it's not insanely important and I don't disagree um, that they put as much emphasis on making sure this ga this game plays perfectly, um, as opposed to... Whoa, 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 what's, what's happening? Okay, alright, that's, that's why I'm not destroying that. I do not see need to destroy that. Die, please. Nice. I love Rock Pikmin. That isn't... A leaf enemy. You guys can please get out of here. You're very annoying. I have a bit of a grudge built up against them. Oh my word. Aim, please. No. Okay. Case in point. Case in point. I cannot aim at the mushrooms because the game doesn't understand why I would ever want to aim at them. Not great. Not great, to be honest. Um, could have been done. A little bit better. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that's... 
That's a thumbnail moment. I do love, I do love them using um, the Pikmin 2 architecture in this way. Because this, this whole little like spirally thing is a thing in Pikmin 2, but it was never used like this. And it's, it's sweet to have that. To have this, the scenery, like the, the uh, logs that we, we step on to avoid the boulders. And then the boulders also going down this. It's really cool. Uh, let's get off and swarm them on this since I don't need it for cover anymore. And hopefully that will, they'll break it quickly enough that they turn around. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's it. That's it for the floor. Uh, we've lost three Pikmin. Not too bad. This is, uh, this is a neat, I like the vibe of this area. I think I've said that before, but revisiting it, um, I, I like the kind of rustic forest undergrowthy vibe of this. Very mossy. Earthen. Because, you know, it's a cave underneath the earth or in the earth. Whoa! Sup, this is not the final floor. At least, can I see if it's... It's not the final floor. Um, but we're dealing with the boss. And are these mushrooms going to be a problem for my Pikmin? I really hope they aren't. No, they're fine. They're fine. They're smart enough. Everybody, come on. Thankfully, the mushrooms are kind of blocking it, I think. Open up. Swarm up. And he's done. I don't know if... That one looked a little bit bigger than normal. Uh, Ochi, get on this, please. And I'm just gonna throw... I'm just gonna throw rock pigment everywhere. I want all these mushrooms gone. You can carry that. Uh, purples, you can carry this. Purples, you can carry this. Purples, you can carry this. Purples, the thing I'm throwing you at. Um, it'd be really great if you could carry it. Um, no? There you go. Oh, that's an oldie mouse. Wow. Oh, wow. Where are you going? <laughs> that's a really oldie mouse. Is that a Nintendo mouse? Huh. Oh, wait. Is that like the... I think that might have come with the NES, or like, there was an NES mouse. Or not NES, uh, SNES. I don't know for what game, but I I vaguely remember it, and the color scheme is appropriate for the for the SNES. Uh, we're gonna leave a purple there, because I don't... Oh, it's a track piece, yeah, so that they can deal with that. Uh, Rock Pikmin, deal with this, please. And I'm running out of Rock Pikmin, kind of. A lot of them are busy, but, you know. Uh, so I'm going to... Use flying Pikmin on this. In fact, you know what? Pack. We have 54 of these. We only have a couple night missions left. Let's do it. Flying Pikmin. Or uh, not flying Pikmin, glow Pikmin. Just use all the mechanics, because I I'm you know, I'm running out of time to use all of the mechanics. I'll probably play this game again in my life, uh, just not on the channel, and I'd like to show off all the things that I haven't done. That being one of them. We can just supplement our numbers in a cave, which is sweet. Really cool. They gave us they gave a lot of ways for and that's the cool thing I I know I've talked about about Pikmin 2 cave design, is that it's a way for them to increase the difficulty without risking Pikmin extinction. Which needs to be talked about more because this game really isn't that difficult, but it has caves back, which is great. And they figured out a way to supply Pikmin numbers by giving us Pikmin in the caves. But that's often how we find the Pikmin in the first place, meaning most playthroughs are going to be different and are going to encounter Pikmin types in different orders. Well, hey. Leafling recovered. Good work. And we look at it again for no reason. As long as I am stocked with medicine, curing them is the easy part. <laughs> On to the next one.